Hello, this is Emily the Crunchy Coach, and this is Benjamin. Benjamin, okay, and Benjamin is going to help me with a little demonstration. I just found out online how you can do a real quick test to see if your garden soil is acidic, too acidic or too alkaline. Now, what I'm testing is the soil from the rural property in southern Oklahoma where we're going to be moving to. And the reason I want to test it is because there are a lot of uh, cedar and cypress trees and maybe even other kinds of pine trees on our property. And when those needles drop down year after year after year in the dirt, it acidifies the soil. Now, if you're not familiar with acid and alkaline regarding growing of um, a garden, basically most garden vegetables prefer a more neutral soil. They don't like, they don't do too well if the soil is too acidic. Berry bushes, on the other hand, especially blueberries, love acidic soil, but you need to be careful with other vegetables, kitchen garden vegetables. So it's so easy. So this is what you do. You take a little sample of soil from where you're going to be planting a garden. Just mix a little water in it. Made a little, not, not a lot of water, it's kind of pasty on the bottom now. And I did another sample in this one. Just mix a little water. Now, what it is, is that I, I've already started this test before I thought, oh, I could make a video. So, with this sample, I put in a little bit of baking soda. In fact, I'll put in a little more and see if anything happens. And it, what, it, what the web page said was, if you put in baking soda and it bubbles, that means, well, you know what happens when you mix baking soda with vinegar. What happens when you mix baking soda? Benjamin, what happens when you mix baking soda with vinegar? Not yet. It bubbles. It bubbles. It fizzes and bubbles, right? So if this soil is acidic and you put baking soda on it, you know, this wet soil, it's supposed to bubble and that means it's acidic. Now, it's not bubbling, but Benjamin, what happens when you put your ear right next to this dish? Do you hear anything? No. And not now? Maybe there's too much baking soda. I hear it very, very faint. The first time I added baking soda, I could hear it much better. I heard, I had to put the dish right close to my ear, but I did hear fizzing. I heard fizzing, and it was a quiet fizzing. No bubbles, but there was fizzing. So what does that mean? That means that the soil is slightly acidic. It's probably not as acidic as I was thinking, but it is slightly acidic. So now what we're going to do now... I just want to check, I want to cover my bases, so we're going to go ahead and take another soil sample and add a little bit of vinegar to it. Now, what's going to happen if the soil is alkaline, if it's too alkaline, when you add the vinegar, it's going to fizz. Yeah. So, I just want to cover my bases and make sure. Now, Benjamin, what you're going to do is just very slowly pour the vinegar in. You don't even have to pour all of it in. Just just a little bit. Pour it over here. You're going to pour on the table. There we go. Slowly. Okay, stop. You hear anything? I hear crackling. crackling. No? Alright. So as I suspected, the soil on our property is a little bit acidic, but not as acidic as, as I'm afraid it might be. We don't hear any fizzing from over here, so it's definitely not alkaline. Well, how do you know if your soil is neutral? Well, nothing happens. If you put baking soda, nothing happens. Vinegar, nothing happens. That means your soil is neutral. You're good to go. I'm going to have to do a little bit of amending to my soil, but that's okay. I was expecting to have to do that. All right, well, if this video has helped you with your garden, feel free to click the like button and subscribe to my channel. We're all about simple living and natural health here. In the meantime, I'll see you for the next video. Take care and be well. And Benjamin's going to say bye. Bye.